let's switch to the next biggie mumbai indians so they retain four players as expected rohit sharma jasprit bumrah kiran polar which is understandable and then sky uh, gets 8 crore and gets retained ali let's start with you because you have association with mumbai any surprises here especially the pandyas and kishan getting dropped or getting released in the auction Uh, yeah it was a bit surprising uh, in an ideal situation i would have seen the third slot going to hardik pandya mm-hmm. uh, so i was to to suman's point i was staying in mumbai for close to 5 years so i might not be a fan of the team but i have an association with the city right so yeah uh, i think surya kumar was a bit surprising to me because what i would have seen was either hardik pandya or ishan kishan right so ishan kishan he can be your opener he is your youngster wicket keeper left hand bat, uh, left hand batsman surya is already 30 so i don't know like it's not a bad pick but i would have uh, i was surprised that hardik and ishan were overlooked over surya and i would say kiran pollard is a steal uh, people feel like hey pollard is old or something but i think he is still 33 So I feel 33, 34. He still has three, four years left, and for six crores, he's a steal. He's like a uh, captaincy material as well, right? Like he's very level-headed. He he works with Rohit, so that's a steal. Bumrah is a steal, 12 crores, like no questions. Rohit is your captain. So yeah, only Surya was like a bit surprising. Hmm. And Vishak and Akash, clearly the strategy is batting because if you look at Rohit Sharma, Sky, and Kiran Pollard, powerhouses, and one Bumrah. And I was surprised Trent Bolt. I I was thinking if they will retain Trent Bolt because very economical. What are your thoughts on Mumbai retentions? Uh, Rohit Sharma and Jasprit Bumrah were uh, again no brainers. Jasprit Bumrah for twelve crores, as Adi mentioned, is a steal. If he had gone to the auction, I feel he would have gone for at least eighteen to twenty crores, being the best Indian bowler. So. Kyron Pollard again was a steal. He has been their uh, best performer. He has been there with them for 11 years. He is a proven performer. So being an all-rounder, uh, they have picked them. And with the Pacers, right? Mumbai Indians always go for rotation of their foreign players. I think me and Akash were discussing this uh, before the auction. And Akash was just mentioning that Mumbai. I was of the opinion that they should go for Bolt. And Akash was just mentioning that Mumbai Indians usually kind of do rotation with their foreign bowlers, and they. Usually pick one standard Indian fast bowler and pick some foreign bowlers, one more Indian bowler to complement them, and pick a couple of foreign bowlers in the auction. That's how their strategy has been. So that's how they have gone with. Uh, I think uh, Surya. I am pretty surprised with Surya Kumar Yadav's uh, actually retention because I thought they would go with Ishan Kishan because Ishan retaining Ishan Kishan would have given them one more option of a wicket keeper. Now, so that. Bases would have also been covered if they had gone for Ishan Kishan. Now, uh, now they have to go into the auction looking for a wicket keeper. So I think Ishan Kishan would have covered that extra aspect. So that is that is the only reason. But uh, they would have gone for the more dependable option, which is Surya Kumar Yadav. Surya Kumar Yadav gives you more uh, is more consistent and he can play the 360 degree angle. So maybe that's the point they went for Surya Kumar Yadav. And Akash, I think like we shot mentioned. Teams are also looking at combinations, right? If you look at Mumbai Indians, they're also bringing in Pollard from an all-rounder perspective. So it, it, there is a method behind madness for Mumbai. It looks like here. Absolutely. I mean, if you look at uh, the team here, the one of the best uh, limited overs batsman at at the top right there as a captain as well. The best uh, limited overs bowler as well at the moment, Jasprit Bumrah. Then you have the one of the best all-rounders in the middle order, Karen Pollard. You've got your bases covered. The only thing which they needed was perhaps a wicket keeper. So I would have thought that maybe they would have gone for Ishan Kishan, who is a youngster who can bat anywhere in the batting order and also keep wickets. So that now you don't have to specifically now you have to specifically go looking for a wicket keeper. That job could have been avoided, I think, if had they retained uh, Ishan Kishan. But again, Surya is not a bad pick either. I would say they are, this is a this is a steal of a retention for them. They are, they have got what what they've got in 48 crores. They should have got it in something around 70 crores. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jasprit Bumrah is not a 12 crore, a 12 crore kind of a retention. Karan mm-hmm. Pollard, it's a loyalty factor. He would never agree for a 6 crore with any other franchise. So I think it's a steal of retention for this number of franchises. And me and Adi were talking off air with four powerhouses. They still have 48 crores, so they still can go after big names without worrying about purse. Fantastic strategy. I think I think they are well placed, Mumbai. 